Brum, brum, brum. Faster! Wow, there's a lot going on in the yard today. Yeehaw! There's Farmer Eddie. Giddy up, horsey. And there's... <gasps> a bear? It's okay. He's a nice bear. He's just visiting the vegetarian. Hi. I think he means veterinarian. <laughs> <laughs> Brum, 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 brum. Mr. Papa needs to see you, Vet Sophie. He has a tummy ache. I'll be right with you. Hey! Here comes Vet Ella. She's bringing Lucky home. Hooray! Lucky's home! Sorry, Mr. Papa. I have to go see Lucky. But you stay here and don't move a muscle. I'll be right back. Oh, Lucky, I'm so glad you're back. Are you okay, boy? <laughs> <laughs> Lucky doesn't mind going to the vet. Checkups keep him well, and he always gets a treat. Brum, brum. Vet Sophie, my horse needs his teeth brushed. I'll go after Miss Bear, Mr. Papa, and... And the lizard? Lizard? I've never seen a lizard before. Ah, that's a lizard! Awesome! Amazing! Whoa! Hi, little lizard. <laughs> Come and say hi, Mia. No, thanks. I don't think I like lizards. Why not? He's very nice. He looks all scaly and icky. I like fluffy and furry. He's not icky. Go ahead. Touch him. Ah, no. We should go on an adventure. Right now. What kind of an adventure? The kind that doesn't have any lizards. Just fluffy and furry animals. Like a farm. Okay, I'll go. Yeah, me too. Okay, here we go. Bye. Have a nice time. Some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Butter sandwich? Another egg! Another egg! Another? Bike horn? <laughs> egg! Egg! Soccer ball? Okay, that's enough collecting eggs. It's time to milk the cow. Cow. Nah. It's a baby cow. A calf. Aww. What you doing, little calf? Shh, I'm hiding. <laughs> we can still see you. Oh. Why are you hiding? No vet. No vet. You're supposed to see the vet today? Mm-hmm. You don't like the vet? Mm-mm. Catherine! Where are you? <gasps> no vet! No vet! No vet! Uh, uh. I do not think she likes the vet. She doesn't know him. 
He's coming over to the farm today to give her her very first checkup. Is he a nice vet? Oh, very nice. And Catherine will see that once she meets him. I really must find her before he gets here. Want us to help you look for her? Oh, yes. Thank you. in all this corn. <gasps> I know how. Wait here. Whoa. Awesome. If we collect all the yummy ears of corn, we'll be able to see where Catherine is. Good idea, Eddie. Broom. Good luck. Please find my baby. Scared, Catherine. But vets are really very nice. Hey, I know a vet who's super nice. Do you want to meet her? Meet her? Uh huh. We can just go for a visit, and you'll see how nice vets are. Just visit? Just a visit. You come with Catherine? I'll be right by your side. This is the vet's waiting room, where the animals wait until she is ready to see them. She helps all kinds of animals. Horses and kitties and lizards. Ah! 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 Lizard! 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 Excuse me, everyone. I'm veterinarian Sophie. Is everything okay? No vet, Sophie. There's a lizard in here, and I do not like lizards. I see. Do you know any lizards? Well, actually, no. Then how do you know you don't like them? Ooh. It's not really fair to decide you don't like someone before you even get to know them. <laughs> so you've never met a vet before You've never met a lizard Before you decide I do not like There are some things to consider Vets keep pets healthy and strong Lizards are gentle and shy They eat bugs so gardens can grow Vets are so helpful and kind Lizards like to lie in the sun Vets can take care of your horse He can run but he doesn't bite And she won't bite you of course You just never know what someone is like Until you get to know them So take the time to meet them first And you may find you like them Are you ready to meet your vet and have your very first checkup? Mm-hmm. Mama! We go home now and see Catherine's vet. We sure will. Thank you all for your wonderful help. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Bye, Marge and Catherine. Bye-bye. Catherine's very own vet will take good care of her. That makes my heart sparkle. Hey, guys! Do you see the lizard anywhere? 
Uh, let's see, uh, yes, over here. He's on the swing. You're lucky. Here he is, Mia. Shh, Eddie, that sweet little lizard is trying to sleep. Aw, go back to sleep, little guy. Oh, you're not scaly and icky at all, are you? Come on, guys, let's ride. I spy with my little eye something green and squishy. <gasps> you spy Jack using green squishy paint. Right. Your turn, Tessa. I spy with my little eye something fluffy and yummy looking, but you can't eat it. Uh... You spy a cloud, shaped like a slice of apple pie. You got it, Kobe. <laughs> Is your cloud pie as yummy as my sand pie? <laughs> <laughs> Wanna play I spy with us, Sophie? I wish, but I can't get up there with this silly cast on my foot. Oh yeah, we could come down. No, that's okay. How about a sand pie to make you feel better, Sophie? Thanks, but I can't get sand in my cast. It's itchy enough already, and the doctor says I won't get it off for another whole week. Sophie's not very happy today. It must be hard not to be able to run around and play. We should try to cheer her up. Yeah, because that's what friends do. What she needs is a good adventure. Great idea, Eddie. I bet that would make her feel better. Come on, Sophie. We're going on an adventure. How can I have an adventure? I can hardly walk. No problem. We'll give you a lift. <sighs> okay. Are you coming too, Tessa? No, thanks. I'm just gonna stay and paint with Jack. Bye! Okay, off we go! Sounds good. Order up. One cupcake, please. Chef Eddie's almost ready. I'm in charge of the icing. Zig a dig a do. <laughs> Keep practicing. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. The cupcakes aren't quite ready yet. First, they have to cool down. Then, we can ice them. Can you come in here? I need help with a little mess. <laughs> I'll be right there. Icing everywhere. Sophie, can you please watch the cupcakes while I help Eddie? Sure. Watching cupcakes is about all I can do with this cast on my foot. It's so itchy. <laughs> cupcakes, oh yummy yum. I wonder if they're free samples. Cupcakes, cupcakes, can we have some, Mama? Please, please, please. Ah, there, that's better. Did your cast stop itching, Sophie? 
Oh, we did stop for a minute. The cupcakes should be cool now. We'll ice them and then we... <gasps> the cupcakes, they're gone. Oh no, I only looked away for a second. Where could they be? Sounds like a mystery to me. And no one is better at solving mysteries than... Detective Sophie! I guess I could try to solve it. Thanks, Mia. You're welcome. Whoever took the cupcakes can't have gone far. Time to investigate! Hmm. It looks like three monkeys tossing cupcakes at each other. I need to talk to them, but I can't get there with this silly old cast. Never fear. Steady Eddie is always ready to help. Huh? Ready how? Ta-da! Climb aboard. Thanks, Eddie. <laughs> what are they doing? It looks like a food fight. Hmm. Let's check it out. <laughs> okay, monkeys. Stop monkeying around. <laughs> I heard you three talking at the bakery. You thought maybe the cupcakes were samples, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you accidentally take them thinking they were free? Huh? Then what's behind your backs? Bean bags to practice our juggling. <laughs> <laughs> we're not very good yet. Don't worry. You just need a little more practice, and you'll be great. Okay. Awesome. That was fun, Detective Sophie. It was, but no more time for fun. We still have to solve this mystery. Hmm. If the monkeys didn't take the cupcakes, where else could they be? Aha! I remember those baby bunnies asking their mama if they could have some cupcakes. Maybe they took them when she wasn't looking. To the campsite! Do you really think they took the cupcakes, Detective Sophie? I hope not, but I have to ask. Why, hello, Detective. Can I help you? Mrs. Bunny, I'm afraid your babies might have taken Chef Eddie's cupcakes without paying for them. Do we get broccoli and cupcakes? Are they broccoli cupcakes? <gasps> broccoli cupcakes! Broccoli cupcakes! Broccoli cupcakes! Oops. Sorry, Mrs. Bunny. I understand. Even really good detectives can be wrong sometimes. Broccoli cupcakes! Yum! Okay, team. Let's go back to the scene of the crime. I need to find more clues. And we're here to help, Sophie. If it seems like something's missing And a friend's not feeling grand You can do much more than wishing Stop and lend a hand A hand is grand Lend a helping hand Sometimes giving help to others Means you need to watch for clues All your sisters, friends and brothers Will at times need help from you A hand is grand Lend a helping hand If a friend is feeling blue It can seem like a mystery Think of when you felt that way And help them, that's called empathy Empathy? Empathy is understanding the feelings of others. A hand is grand, lend a helping hand. A hand is grand, lend a helping hand. Hi, Sophie. Kobe, you took the cupcakes? Yes, I took them to decorate. What do you think? Oh, I guess I should have told someone, huh? It's okay. 
We had a really fun time figuring it out. And this mystery is solved. Oh, are they ready? Just in time. <laughs> we have customers. Cupcakes! Yummy cupcakes coming right up. Cupcakes! Cupcakes! Oh, cupcakes. Here you go, guys. Here, have one, Mama. Oh, I couldn't. <laughs> oh, they're good. Well, maybe I'll have just one. <laughs> here you go. That was awesome. Sophie! You're back. Are you feeling better? I feel great. I thought my cast would keep me from having fun, but I did have fun, thanks to my friends. I have an idea. Let's decorate Sophie's cast. Yeah, we can use stickers. How about right here? I want the lightning bolt. One at a time, guys. Ready. <laughs> Let's take <it go. laughs> Cool. Wow. I love it. Now I never want to take my cast off. <sighs> well, maybe not never. <laughs> oh, so Sophie. Okay, Eddie. The rules are, I hit the ball into your square. You let it bounce once, then hit it back to me. Got it? Got it. Here you go. Now you're playing two square Tessa style. Oh. Hey! Ha! Did you see that? That was so high! Eddie, the rules say the ball has to stay in the square. So you're out, and now it's Kobe's turn. Watch this, Kobe! Huh. Oh. Eddie, it's not your turn anymore! But this is really fun! I know, but we're playing a game now, and those are the rules! See what happens when you don't play right, Eddie? Sorry, Lucky. Here we go again. Come on! <sighs> I bet the animals in the jungle don't have to follow rules. Hey, Sophie, want to go on a jungle adventure with me? Um, okay. What do you want to do in the jungle? We can do anything we want there. Come on! Uh, all right. Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go. they're supposed to do. It's the jungle! Coming through! Ah! <laughs> Whoa! Woo! <laughs> Lunch! <laughs> These cars are so cool! <laughs> Go ahead! Take one for a spin! <laughs> Come on, Sophie! Let's drive! <laughs> are you sure it's okay? It's the jungle, Sophie! Uh, okay. Let's drive. Yeah! Woohoo! This is amazing! Look! An eating, reading, skateboarding monkey! This jungle is awesome! I'm not sure she should be doing all that at the same time. Why not? What could go wrong? <laughs> Meg 
big monkey. Hi, I'm Eddie. And this is Sophie. Hi. Awesome. You guys want to come and play with me? Yeah. Hey, I know a great place. Oh, you're going to love it. Follow me. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> come on, Sophie. Uh, but what about the car? Don't worry, just leave it. Come on, faster. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh boy. Wow, a national playground. I think he means natural. That too. <laughs> Come on, let's slide. Don't you slide down a slide? Nah, that's the way hippos do it. But we monkeys, we never follow the rules. <laughs> Me neither. I never follow the rules. Um, <laughs> maybe hippos have a reason for following the rules. Come on up, Eddie. There's room for two. Woo! That looks like fun. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Come on up! <laughs> Wee! Woo! Woo! <laughs> what did I tell ya? This is the <gasps> Wait, it? guys, that sign means only one person at a time is allowed on the swing. It's okay. It won't hurt anything. Wee! This Woo! is fun! Woo! nest fell. Oh, yeah. I didn't see that. Are the eggs okay? Yeah, they're okay. Okay, here we go. So see? Swinging together didn't hurt anything. Um, I think it kind of did. The best drinking fountain in the whole jungle. I guess that's why there's such a long line. <sighs> Lines are for elephants. Monkeys have better things to do than wait in line. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. <clears throat> Excuse me, step aside. Meg, you cut in line in front of that baby. <laughs> Sorry, little guy. Uh, you made him cry, Meg. I did? <laughs> Oops. Sorry, but I was thirsty. The rules of good manners say you should wait your turn. But you don't like rules, right? I think maybe I do sometimes. Hey, come on! I want to show you another really cool place! Um... Uh, but it's a really cool place. Let's go. <sighs> hey, follow me. I'm going to get one of the apples from that tree. Whoop. Nice one. Uh, I know you don't like rules, Eddie, but you shouldn't just climb over a fence. I bet there's a good reason you're not supposed to go in there. Ugh, I know, but... Hurry up, Eddie! These apples are delicious! Mm. The apples are delicious, Sophie! <laughs> <laughs> the big ones are near the top! <laughs> oh, I'm so itchy! Why am I so itchy? <laughs> Me too, I think those Flowers might be itch weeds. Ooh. Itch weeds? We never should have come in here, Meg Monkey. World really are there for a reason. Uh, itchies. Rules are there for a reason. They keep us safe and sound. When you're not sure of what to do, they're good to have around. Rules are there for a reason. They help 
us do what's right. Sometimes it's hard to follow them, but please keep them in sight. Try to pay attention and follow all the signs. Don't go up when it says down and wait your turn in line. You may want to play somewhere, a fence is in your way. Just follow the rules and don't go in and you'll stay safe all day. Rules are there for a reason. They keep us safe and sound. When you're not sure of what to do, they're good to have around. They're good to have around. Rules are awesome. <laughs> Tessa, Steady Eddie is ready to play again. And I promise, this time I'll play by the rules. There's a line, Eddie. Oh, sorry, just passing through. I'm after Sophie, right? Yep. Huh. Oh. Hey guys, what about a new rule? If you're not playing, then you have to cheer really, really loud. Woohoo! Yeah! Yay! What's wrong? Don't you like my new rule? Yeah, I like it. All right. Sounds fun. Me too. Let's cheer! What you doing, Kobe? I'm making new stuff out of old stuff. Greetings, Earthlings. The same way Tess and Mia made a new alien costume out of old boxes. What is this Tessa and Mia you speak of? Look at this other head. It is a fun Earth thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are right, other head. And Steady Eddie shoots! He scores and the crowd goes wild! Yeah! Woohoo! This isn't trash, Eddie. It can be recycled. The recycling truck will take it so it can get turned into a new can or part of a bike or maybe even an airplane. Huh. It looks like trash to me. <gasps> that sounds like the recycling truck. Wow! I'd love to drive one of those big trucks. Wouldn't you? <gasps> Zika digga do! That's a great idea! Uh, what is? We should go on a recycling adventure and drive one of those trucks. We could find all kinds of cool stuff to recycle or reuse. Yeah, but I just want to drive a truck. You'd get to drive an awesome truck with flashy lights and grindy sounds and a huge back that opens up and... Okay, okay, let's do it. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So, hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Look at this truck! This is amazing! Let's drive! Buckle up! Somebody wore a lot 
lot of party hats. Or a lot of somebody's each wore one. <laughs> yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> now these old party hats will be turned into brand new party hats. And Steady Eddie is ready to go. Huh? Let's go, Kobe. I want to drive. Hmm. All those hats could be made into new hats, but why don't we see what this magical recycling truck can do with them? <sighs> well, okay. But then can we drive? Sure. Whoa! Did you see that? Yeah! Cool! From party hats to party streamer! And I know just where we can hang it! at the annual Monkey Madness Food, Fashion, and Fun Festival. Oh, it's perfect. This will really bring in the crowds. Thanks. You're welcome. And we've been saving all our milk jugs for you. Hey, thanks. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Scientific fact. Plastic milk jugs can be recycled into new milk jugs. Yeah, but I wonder what our magical recycling truck can turn them into. Let's find out. And I know who these are for. Bowling pins for bowling pigs. Yeah! Awesome! Nice work, fellas. <laughs> Do you guys have anything here for us to recycle? S mm, sorry, nothing to recycle. Just a bunch of old tires. Okay, thanks. By the way, thanks for these bowling pins. It's not much fun bowling with just a ball. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Kobe, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yup. Want to see what a recycling truck can do with those tires? Oh, yeah. For. Yeehaw! Thanks for these. They'll keep my babies busy for a long while. You're welcome, Ruthie. Rocking horses for rocking rabbits. <laughs> Excuse me, Ruthie. Do you have anything to be recycled? I have some junk I was gonna throw away. Throw away? You boys have imagination. Can you reuse anything? I think we can. That thing from in your past might seem like it won't last. Don't throw it away so fast, because you might just have a blast.
Okay, maybe not everything can be reused. But almost everything you use can be made into something new. Making something brand new, something new for me and you. Mm -hmm. All right. Wow. wow. Oh. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Rock on, Ruthie! Go, Ruthie! Woohoo! Yeah! That was awesome! Hello, Earth friends. Welcome back. We made some cool Earth music makers. From junk we were throwing away. Anything is possible when you use a little imagination. <laughs> but almost everything you use can be made into something new. Making something brand new, something new for me and you. A drum. A duck. Quack, quack. An alien. A truck. <laughs> <laughs> the crown. I bet you're really a prince. Ribbit, yep, that's what I am. A frog prince. Ribbit, pass it. Ugh. <laughs> nice shot. Poor, poor froggy. Uh, Mia, watch out for our game. Some mean witch put a magic spell on you. Mia! Didn't you hear? Hear what? Oh, look. Bet Ella's going to Mrs. Melman's house. I bet she's checking on her kitty. I'm going to be a veterinarian when I grow up. I'll help lots of animals. Say ah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Sophie's going to be a great vet someday. But first she'll have to practice with lots of animals. Huh? Huh? You're right, Eddie. And there are lots of animals in the jungle. <sighs> That's why I'm going on a jungle adventure. Sounds like fun. I'll come with you. Oh, me too. Me too. Maybe there's a frog there we can turn into a prince. Bye. Have fun. Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're going to have some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone. Situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our imagination. You could be anyone in any situation. Everyone. I'm veterinarian Sophie. And I'm her assistant, Mia. And I'm... What am I, vet Sophie? You're the, um, note-taking, problem-asking, people-greeting-behind-the-desk person. The medical receptionist. Cool! So, why don't you all tell me why you're here to see the vet? <laughs> okay, I see. Uh-huh, I hear you. It's important for a vet to listen carefully to the patient before deciding what's wrong. Then we can make sure each of them gets the right treatment. Ooh, stickers. I can't wait to hand out stickers. Vet Sophie, this is Benji. And here is his chart. Interesting. Thanks, Kobe. So how are you feeling, Benji? Cold. You have a cold? Oh, no! But, but I... <sighs> You're going to need lots of tissues and cough drops and soup and a nice warm blanket. That's nice, Mia, but let's listen to everything Benji has to say. Thank you, Vet Sophie. I was going to say I have cold 
feet. <sighs> when did you first notice this? Um, right before I went to bed last night. I see. And do you usually wear something on your feet at bedtime? Oh, yes. I wear nice, warm, fuzzy slippers. But I lost them. Then I have just the right treatment for you. Medical receptionist Kobe, can you please bring in a pair of warm, fuzzy slippers size super duper extra, extra large? Sure. Oh, um, actually, make that two pairs of slippers. I'm on it. Here you go, Vet Sophie. Thanks, Kobe. Oh, <laughs> warm and fuzzy on all four feet. Thank you. I feel so much better now. <laughs> Woohoo! But da 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 we can use a big piece of super sticky tape to stick her tail to the floor so she'll stop bouncing. <laughs> Maybe we should listen a little closer to our patient, Mia. My stethoscope can hear what's going on inside her body. <clears throat> I think you have the hiccups. <laughs> don't worry, they don't last long. But sometimes it helps to hold your breath and count to five. Try it with me. <gasps> One, two, three, four. Um, what comes next? <laughs> Pretty sure it's not six or eight. It's five! <sighs> <sighs> Looks like your hiccups are gone. <laughs> Glad we could help. Holly Ostrich was here a minute ago. Uh, I think I lost him. I think I found him. Uh, Vet Sophie, we've got a patient who's a little scared. Hmm. Ollie just needs someone to listen to him and calm him down. I'll go see him. Murray Penguin? You'll be next, Murray. Follow me. Just wait right here. Vet Sophie will be back soon. No need to wait for Vet Sophie. I can see what's wrong with you without even asking. You're sad. And I bet I know why. Nobody remembered your birthday. Mia to the rescue! Oh, here you go. Oh. This will help. Here you go. Hold this. Hmm. Perfect. Oops. Sorry, Murray. All better now, Ollie. We'll give you a ride home as soon as I see the last patient. What in the name of busted balloons happened here? Murray Penguin is sad, so I tried to cheer him up. But I think I made it worse. Why is he sad? I thought I knew, but I didn't really listen, and I don't know. Hi, Murray. Can you tell us why you've got the gloomies? Hmm, a picture of snow. Like where you come from? <gasps> you ice skate there, right? <laughs> that does look like fun. It's a snowman! Now I know why you're sad. I listened to you, and now I know. You miss your home, right? Good listening, Mia. Now, let's make you feel better. Next stop, Snow Globia. Listening's what you need to do so you hear your friends. 
friends and they hear you You'll never know what you might be missing If you don't stop and give a little listen Hear that happy penguin sound Cause now you're home all safe and sound with the hiccups? <laughs> You're right, Mia. Yep, I was listening. Snack time! I've got cookies. I heard that. Yum! See? Good things happen when you listen. Cookies for you, cookies for you. Thank you! <laughs> Whoa, these are delicious. Get ready for Steady Eddie to kick this ball to the sky! Here it comes! I got it! Great kick, Eddie! Oh, thanks! Now it's Tessa's turn to kick. Hey, where are you going, Eddie? It's Colby's turn to pitch and your turn to catch. No thanks. I just like kicking. That's not fair to us. You have to play all the parts of the game, not just the fun parts. Kobe can throw and catch. He's really good at it. <laughs> what do you see, Mr. Papa? Never mind. I'll look myself. Oh, the bus is coming. Emily, the bus driver, is so nice. And she gets to drive a bus. She's always right on time. And she gets to drive a bus. She stops at every single bus stop. And she gets to drive a bus. Maybe we should go on a bus driving adventure together. Great idea, Sophie. I'll drive. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys. We're going on a bus driving adventure. Want to come? Okay. Sounds like fun. Woohoo! I'm going to drive a bus. Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're going to have some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure. Place new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our imagination. You could be anyone in any situation. Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. Let's go! <laughs> Take a ride on the jungle bus. Come on, hurry, keep moving, let's go. You know, Eddie, part of a bus driver's job is to politely wait for the passengers to board. Uh, maybe, but the fun part is driving. That 
screen shows you all the places you have to stop. <gasps> you better slow down, Eddie. The first stop is coming up now. No one here? Okay, let's go. Wait! It's the tortoise queen. I want to get off here and go say hi. Yeah, me too. <sighs> Hi. Hello, Tortoise Queen. Hello. Are you coming? No, thanks. I don't want to say hi. I want to drive. It's super fun. I love super fun. I'll go with you. Cool. We'll come back and pick them up later. Oh, oh. goodness. He's in a hurry. I suppose that's good. He'll be picking up guests for our party. Party? Every year, we celebrate the day I was crowned queen of the jungle. With music, cake, decorations. You're all invited, of course. Though we're not quite ready yet. Would you like some help? I would love some help. Then the perfect party planning people are here. Let's get busy, everyone. Ah! Okay. Driving through the mud is awesome. <laughs> okay, right there. Ha. What a wonderful stage. Perfect for the monkey band. Uh, where is the band? They'll be on the bus when it gets back here. I think that was a bus stop, Eddie. You should have stopped. Hold on, Mia. This is going to be a big one. for the cake. And if we're going to have cake, we're going to need plates. And forks. And forks and forks and forks. And very special napkins. Yes! How wonderful! Our guests will love this. He can start the moment the bus arrives. Here it is now! Woohoo! That was awesome! Eddie, where are the guests? <laughs> guests? Yes, they were coming on the bus. And bringing the music, and cake, and decorations. Uh-oh. I guess I should have stopped at those bus stops, huh, Mia? Yes, Eddie. That's what bus drivers do. Yeah. I guess everyone was counting on me to do every part of the job. Not just the fun driving part. 
Yeah. Yep. Hmm. Well, I'll just go back and do the route again. And this time, I'll stop at every bus stop. I promise. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Fantastic! We know you like to drive the bus and never want to stop. But once you've picked up all the gas, this party's gonna pop. Your best with everything and do it with a smile. When you decide to start something, then finish it in style. They're counting on me to do my part, not just the part that's fun. So I will help with everything and think about everyone. Together, out to sea or in the air, together. 